Hi, I'm George, and in this Minecraft video, we'll be taking a look at how to do a little bit of house design here, some house ideas, and for that, we'll be doing a pumpkin carving. There's my carved pumpkin on the right-hand side and the original jack-o'-lantern there on the left-hand side. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, take a look at my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and in this video, I'll start off with showing you how to do the actual carving on the pumpkin and then if you haven't done a resource pack before, I'll go through that whole process on the second half of this video. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to a program for doing the carving in. I happen to like using Photoshop Elements. You can use any graphics program you want. It doesn't really matter. That's just one that I happen to use most of the time. Okay, we'll switch over there and we'll take a look at these pumpkins. Okay, here we are inside of Photoshop Elements. And these are the three main files we'll be working with. These are all texture files. You can find them in the blocks folder. We have just the standard pumpkin side. It's used for the two sides and the back and the front if it's not carved. Over here we have the carved pumpkin. And then over here, this is the jack-o'-lantern. Let me bring up a folder and I'll show you where you'll find these three files inside of the textures. Here's the folder with the textures right here and we're in the block folder in textures. Now these are kind of spread around a little bit. The first one is the carved pumpkin. So I'll scroll down until we find that one and that's right there, carved pumpkin. The next one is going to be the jack-o'-lantern that's down in the J's. So I'll scroll down to the J's and there it is right there. And the last one is the pumpkin. So I'll scroll down to the P's down here and there it is, pumpkin side. And those are the three files and again they're all inside of the block folder. And these are just standard blocks. It means they're pretty small sized. Let me just show you this one. Go up here to image and come down to your resize image size. And you'll see here these are 16 by 16 pixels. Real small. So the first thing I like to do here is to just double the size up to 32 by 32. Let me bring up my working file here. I have one right here. There we go. And this has been increased to 32 by 32. I just zoomed in a bit larger for this video also. Now you'll want to have two things. This is the carved pumpkin. You see right up here, carved pumpkin. This is saved as a Photoshop file, PSD file. In here, what you want to do first is to take this file, and then I'm using layers on the right-hand side. If your graphics program has layers, this is a lot easier. If not, just work with your background. So you take the background, and you copy this over here into this file. If I show and hide that, you can see it's, it's the same thing in behind there. So there is just the standard pumpkin side. And then to carve that, what you want to do is put a new layer on top of that. And with this new layer, you want transparent in the background and then just your color in here in the foreground. Now I could do this just in black. I have mine just black right here. That works out just fine. They actually use a little bit of kind of a brownish color over in here. So I just did a little bit of a color shift to push mine over into browns. And all you have to do is just paint this in. You're putting it right on top of that pumpkin right here. So just kind of eyeball it and paint whatever you want to have in here. Now to make this work out, you want to be using a real, real small brush. I used a one pixel paintbrush. Let me just show you that. I'll hide this one, I'll make a new layer and I'll grab my paintbrush and let's get this out of the way. And here it is, just a hard edge paintbrush and I'll set my way down to just one pixel. And you can see in here, one pixel is only that big. Now I like using just the paintbrush here because I get a little bit of that stuff around the outside there, a little bit of that blending going in there. And that helps to make this look a little bit better. Now for mine, I went for a real sinister effect in here. So I gave it kind of triangular shape eyes up here. There's just one right here and then over here, did a second one up in here. It's kind of like that, doesn't take much. And then for the mouth, I just did kind of teeth things like this, just over a, a bit like that and do some of these things. I didn't get too close so that I would have some clear stuff around them. And just came in and began doing this zigzaggy kind of a up and down bit in here like that. And just making some crooked teeth happening in here. And once I had some of that crooked teeth effect, I just came in the middle and then filled that middle section in. There we go. And that gives it the effect of having just jagged teeth and kind of a big smiley face with jagged teeth. And that's all there really is to it. Now once you have it like this, then you're going to want to save this out as a PNG file. It should save out right on top of the original one right here. So I would just save this right on top of that and that would be my new graphic, my new image for that carved pumpkin. Let's take a look at that now back over in the game again. And that's how that looks right there. Just kind of a nice smiley face. Now for the other side, the jack o' lantern that's actually lit up like that, that's the other texture. Let's go back over and take a look at that texture. I'll move this over. 
And that's right there. It's just a solid texture, as you can see right here. And it's just bright yellows to light oranges. Now, to do that effect over here, the easy way, there's one I used, is just to do a color shift on this. You can do a color shift. It depends on the program. Some programs use different techniques. In Photoshop Elements, I can put a color shift right on top, like I have right here for my browns. And then I'll bring this up. And here's my hue saturation. And that can actually adjust the lightness right in here. And I can adjust my color right here. This is fine, kind of a nice yellowish color. Bring my brightness like that. And right there, we have our nice glowing effect. Now, if you want to go fancier than this, you can. But that's really all it is, is simply a color shift on your original design. Okay, let's now go back over to the game. And there we go. There's the jack-o'-lantern version of that. I added a bit more white in there, just making it a little bit brighter. First off, if you haven't done a carved pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern before, let me show you that. Just flip around here. I'll come down here. Let's just put one. There we go. Okay, so there's just a regular pumpkin. Now to carve it, you just take your shears. I have some right here. Just right-click and that shears it also brings out some pumpkin seeds, which is real nice. So there's our sheared pumpkin. Now, if you want to make this into a jack-o'-lantern, what you have to do is you're going to need a crafting table. I just switched over here to survival real fast so we can do this. What you want to do is you want to take your carved pumpkin and then let's just get that block. There we go. There's the carved block. You can see it right there. It's a carved block, so let's grab that one. And now go into your crafting table. Take your carved pumpkin, put it right here. Grab a torch and put it right underneath like that. And that gives you your jack-o'-lantern. And the jack-o'-lantern then is using that texture that we made. Let's bring that down. There we go. And let's just place that right there. And there's the jack-o'-lantern. So it's pretty easy to do that part of it, just to carve it first and then make the jack-o'-lantern using the crafting table. Okay, now let's switch out of Minecraft and I'll show you how to do the whole resource pack for this whole thing if you haven't done that before. Okay, here we are on my desktop and here's the files that I used inside of this resource pack. Let me show you where you can get your basic files for a resource pack. I'm gonna go just back one step here. I have a folder which I call resource packs on my computer. You know, all this stuff is anywhere you wanna put it. I just made a folder here for my training videos and I have a Minecraft folder inside of that. I just made that one up and I have a resource pack. So I just made up this folder. Again, it's any folder you want, any place on your hard drive. Now to get the parts that you need, let's open up just a regular drive window like this, regular file window, and then type in percent, app data percent. Open that up and then go into the top one there, which should be .minecraft. Now in here, come down to versions. So you can bring this up right here and it's right there. And look for your current version of Minecraft. Right now we're at 1.16.3. 1.16.4 is almost out, but not quite. So we're still on 1.16.3. So I'll go inside of here. And you want the jar file right there. You should see two files. If you're only seeing one, that means that you haven't played the game yet for the new version. So if you only see just a JSON file, open the game up once, close it back down again, and you'll see both files. The reason for that is that Minecraft downloads the jar file the first time you play that version. Okay, so here's our jar file. If you don't see the .jar at the end, also easy to fix. Go up to View, and then right here where it says Find Them Extensions, just check that, and you'll see the ending right there. Okay, so we want this jar file. I'm just going to right-drag it over here and copy. Don't move it. Make sure you copy it. Okay, here's our jar file. I need to unzip this, so an easy way is just to change the .jar to a .zip. Now, if you happen to have 7-zip or WinRAR, you can open it up directly. They both do just fine on that. Now, I want to open this thing up, so I'm going to right-click, open in New Window. There we go. Here's our new window. You see a few folders up here, and then you see a whole bunch of class files down here. Scroll way down in those class files down to the P's, and they're quite a ways down here. There we go. And you're going to see hack.mcmeta and pack.png. You want those two files. Okay, so what I did here, my resource packs folders, I made a new folder I called Halloween, and inside of that one, that's where these files are. There's the pack MC Meta, and there's the pack PNG. All you need to do is just take these, just copy those over into your folder here. Now I changed my pack PNG to give me a new look in here instead of just the standard dirt that they use right here, which is pretty boring. 
So that's all it is. It's just my own version of that. It can be anything you want as long as it's square. That's all that really matters. Mine is at 256 by 256, and it's a PNG file. Now the pack.mc meta, let's open this up. Mine opens up in Notepad, so I'll double click, and here we go. The important thing here is to make sure that you're working in version 6 right now. If you're using 1.16.2 or later, you want version 6. If you're earlier, then there are other versions for earlier versions. And if that's the case, just ask me in the comments, and I'll tell you which version you need to use for your particular copy of Minecraft. You can give the description anything you want. I just called it Halloween right there. Everything else stays the same. Now, if yours doesn't open up inside a notepad, just right-click and come down here to Open With. And if you see Notepad here, just choose that. If you don't see it, click on Choose Default Program. Let's open this one up. And then here we can actually look for that Notepad. There we go. There's Notepad. If you don't see it here, click on More Options. And then scroll down through your list until you find Notepad. If you're still not seeing it, you can click Look for Another App on your PC. But you should see Notepad in this list. It's a standard one. And that just makes it really easy to use. Notepad++ is also a really good option, and that's a free download. Okay, that takes care of those two. Now, inside of the Assets folder here, I'll open this up. All we need is just the block folder right here. Let me show you where you'll find these files inside of that. That's in here. We're still, this is inside the zip where we're copying from. So let's scroll back to the top again, and we'll go inside of Assets, inside of Minecraft, inside of Textures right here, and then inside a block right there. Okay, so what I did here, let me back up just a little bit. Here's my Halloween right there. I made a folder called Assets. Open that one up. I made a folder named Minecraft. You can see it right there. Open that one up. I made a folder named Textures. You can see it right there. Open that one up. And I made a folder here for a block. You can see the block right there. So it's inside that same exact location. There's my Halloween folder that I'm working in. Assets, Minecraft, Textures, and Block. So in the same location here, let me just change this view over to large icons. The ones you want, you want the carved pumpkin. Let's go ahead and we'll find that one. There it is, carved pumpkin. You want that one. You just right drag it over into here. You want the jack-o'-lantern. That's down in the J's. We'll come down, we'll find that. That's right about here someplace. Jack-o'-lantern right there. You want that jack-o'-lantern. And then you also want the pumpkin side, and that's way down here in the P's. And right there, pumpkin side. That's the one you want right there. And copy that one over. So that is going to be that file, that file, and that file. Okay, and that's all there is to it to finding those files. Okay, I can close that down now. Now, once you have those, you can go ahead and change your textures like we showed at the beginning part of this video and then just save it back out on top of itself. So it has to have the exact same name as the original. You can see my new texture right there. Same thing over here, exact same name as the original. It's a PNG file. Okay, so that's all done. We'll now go back to my working folder, the Halloween folder right here. So we have those all set up. We now need to zip this stuff together. I'll just select all of those like that. Go up to Share and choose Zip. This is Windows Zip. It works just fine, and it does that. It puts those into a new zip folder. Call it whatever you want. I'll call mine Halloween. There's our Halloween zip. Now we just need to copy this over into the game. Let me bring back up my other folder. Okay, here's a standard file window. So just type in that percent app data percent again. There we go. Go into Minecraft at the top, and then come down to where it says Resource Packs right here. Open this one up, and then simply copy your zip file over into this folder. There's mine already copied right there. Okay, it's now inside the game where we can get to it. So that's all set to go. I'll now launch the game, and then I'll show you how you can activate that in the game. Okay, here we are at the opening menu screen. That's my custom panorama in the background. I have a video on how to do that if you're curious about that. Let's come down here to Options, open this one up, open up Resource Packs. Let me put this back over to the left-hand side. So at this point, you'd be seeing it like this. It'd be here on the left-hand side, most likely at the top. If not, it may be down below a little bit down here. Right-hand side are your currently running resource packs. There's my paintings. There's my custom title panorama, which we just saw. And here's that Halloween. Just click on that arrow. It puts it over here on the right-hand side. Choose Done. Choose Done again. And it's now been installed and activated in the game. Now what we need to do is just to 
run the game here and we're then going to see our new carved pumpkins and also our new jack-o'-lanterns right inside the game. It's just that easy to do, simply a matter of changing those around. And here we go, there's the game and there it is. There's our new look. Now, if you're tired of this, all you have to do is just deactivate that resource pack. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, take a look at my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and I'll see you next time.